Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. You're with the Minutemen, right? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a flying leap, now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. But they didn't seem too impressed. Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. I know this may sound like a strange question, but tell me, what do you think about Scribe Halen? Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. I don't think I know her well enough to give you a military evaluation. That's a shame. Perhaps you should spend more time working with her then. She's a model soldier. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. This isn't like you, Dance. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? I suppose I'm beating around the bush because... I don't normally find these discussions easy to handle. I'll try and get right to the point. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. She seems to be able to handle herself. Why are you worried? Helen is a model scribe. This has nothing to do with her capabilities in the field. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers, so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life, she injected him without question. Are you asking me whether or not I approve? Of course not. I stand by every order I've ever given. That soldier was gravely wounded. Even if, by some miracle, he happened to survive, he would have been paralyzed for life. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I... Let's do this. You crazy? <laughs> ah, look at all the blood. Hey. What do you want? Paladin dance. If you have the time to talk now, I'd still like to know what you think about Scribe Halen. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? 
It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. Sure. Tell me what's on your mind. Let me start from the beginning. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers, so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life, she injected him without question. That's horrible, Dance. Maybe Halen could have saved him. Impossible. He was paralyzed and internally bleeding. And out here, that's as good as a death sentence. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, Everyone under my command. Come on, Dance. What is it you're really worried about here? I don't know. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do, but how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? Would it make you feel better if I told you that I believed in you? Actually, it does. Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. I'm here anytime you need me, Dance. Good. I may take you up on that someday. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst, instead of at my best. Hey there. We did it! I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards, but the Minutemen came through for us. Harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than the one before. Hey, I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when people aren't always worried about the next raider attack. You know what I'm gonna say next. Another trouble spot. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Hey, ready. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? What do you want? We should go our separate ways. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision. But it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. You willing to do some work? Hey, Valentine. 
Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. Something else. Guess I can stop putting off that detection. Now! You having fun? Huh? I can do this all day! Watch this. Arms over here. Friendliest vault in all the Commonwealth. Because here they don't shoot on sight. Hey. Do something for you? Nick. Go ahead. That's all. Shoot yourself. Still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. 
I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Depends. I need more details. Fair enough. Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. What do you need them for? I'm no engineer, but I've been told we need them to help supplement our power generators. So if the task seems trivial to you, I assure you, it's very important to us. Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. I admit, I didn't expect to see you wearing a vault suit. Did you come from one of the vaults? Is it still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. How often do you end up trading with the outside? More often than you may think. A couple of times a month, I'd say. It also helps us keep up with Commonwealth news. And the fusion cores? You do have them, don't you? Here you go. I'm sure you'll... Put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his, uh, friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office.
hope everyone enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon see you all on the next video enjoy life and stay gaming Welcome to the army.